Hello and welcome to another Good Game Empire video. Today we will be talking about this September update and what is included in it. So we will start with probably the most uh, significant change to Master Blacksmith. It's not the one we are expecting to see, it's a different change, but it's still a very important thing. So you can't see it now because we're still running on the old Blacksmith, but after the next reset in 2.7 days, so it's gonna be on the first Friday from this video, uh, we're gonna see uh, defensive tools in Master Blacksmith. So we're gonna be able to basically buy five different defensive tools from Master Blacksmith. Let me tell you which ones. So starting with Quickline Bombs, uh, Fire Mode, Arrow Slit, Port Coolies and Murder Hole. So this will be the five uh, types of defensive tools uh, which will be able to be purchased uh, inside Master Blacksmith. I don't know the price, I know the limits per week, I don't know any uh, details, but we're gonna see them next week in Master Blacksmith. So I, of course, highly suggest to you to buy as many as possible because they are highly, they are very, very important and useful at your castles. Okay, so the next change is actually increasing number of bookmark plays you can have on your account. So it went from 20 to 50. Previously, we would be able to uh, mark only 20 places uh, the map, uh, the Kingdom's maps, and right now you can mark up to 50. It's basically very useful for different kind of stuff. You might uh, want to track a player who uh, you're thinking that they might change their nickname, so you want to track their castle. For example, you can just track many fortresses or dragons, uh, because if they are not uh, burned, you will see this icon without any fire there, so you can use that and check it every every since in a while. And it's very useful now, you can mark up to 50 places. And also to notice now that you cannot mark more than 20 in Alliance, so it was increased only for uh, players, but not for the Alliance bookmarks. Another small yet very useful change in this update is a indicator that a building inside your district is on fire. So if only one or more buildings are on fire in one of your districts in your castle, uh, you're gonna see this indicator right there, like this one or this one or this one. So you're basically not gonna miss the fact that one of your buildings need to be extinguished. And yes, that is very useful thing, especially during wars or any combat situation. That's very useful because you would often miss the fact that the building is hidden in district and it's on fire, and now you're not gonna have that problem. Another big, or I would even say a huge change in this update was the Kingdom League rewards. So for this reward from season rankings, uh, which you're getting based on your total amount of medals, uh, on this final rank you're getting a rewards package uh, every Kingdom League ends, so every 42 days basically, or depending how long it is, you're getting the rewards at the end of the Kingdom League, and if you're qualified you get them based on your current medals, and this gives you a rank, and based on this rank you're getting rewards. So they got changed significantly, and before we take a look at higher ranks, we're gonna just dip into the bottom of this, and now you can see that from rank 1000 to lower, we're getting only a small amount of gold pieces actually. So this is a pretty huge change because previously you would be able to get like 35,000 or something of gold pieces. So it was great for even not too active players. And right now it was, it's just disabled. You cannot do that um, from this update. And now let's take a look at higher positions. So uh, we have a lot of rewards, huge like packages of rewards for high ranks. So starting from rank 1 to rank 5, uh, we are getting, actually we can uh, group them by the uh, temporary build item rarity. So from rank 1 to rank 5, you can see that we're getting this um, legendary rarity of the build items, of the appearance build items. Uh, but first take a look at the decoration. So the first five places get actually the same decoration, 3,550 3, public order uh, decoration. So this is the same for all five top places and also the same are the appearance build items. So we we're getting the uh, defensive workshop appearance item for the strength in courtyard bonus when attacking. We're getting the marketplace appearance for melee unit when attacking and we're getting the siege workshop appearance for ranged unit when attacking. So that's a very uh, good item and we're getting the same for all of these ranks from one to five. It's just the same items. 
And the second page is actually the most interesting. So we're getting a huge amount of uh, seeds, construction tokens, and upgrade tokens. So for these positions, you can get 1.5 thousand of each. Uh, you're, you're also getting the castle passage token to move your castle to the mystic outer realms, which is very useful. And a small amount of gold pieces. So let me reveal all of these top five places. And as you can see, you're getting a very small amount of gold pieces compared to the previous Kingdom Leagues because back then you were able to collect like 170,000 for these very high positions and currently you're getting a very small amount of gold pieces so that's pretty good, pretty um, huge disadvantage on this but um, a huge advantage on this is that you're getting a lot of seed so for the uh, first um, position you're getting 1.5 thousand for the rank number 2 you're getting 1.4 thousand uh, 1,350 for position number 3 uh, 1,300 for position number 4 and 1,200 for position number 5. Yeah, you're also getting the upgrade tokens in the same amount of these seats and uh, upgrade tokens. Okay, so now let's move to the second category. So these are positions with um, appearance build items of the epic rarity. Uh, so they get from rank 6 to 10 and 11 to 20 you get 3.5 thousand public order decoration. And from rank 21 to 50, you're getting 3,450 public order decoration. Uh, you're also getting the free built item, the appearance items uh, for strength in courtyard, for strength of melee units, and strength of um, ranged units. So they are a bit, uh, the bonuses, the combat bonuses values are a bit smaller compared to legendary, but they are still uh, very good items. And on the second page, you're getting the seeds and construction and upgrade uh, tokens. So yes, uh, you can get from ranks six to 10, you can get 1000 seed and uh, construction upgrade tokens. From ranks 11 to 20, you can get 800 of each. And from ranks 21 to 50, you can get 600 of each. You're also getting a, um, a small amount of gold pieces, but this is really small. It's just a few thousand compared to like 70 or 80,000 at these positions from the previous Kingdom Leagues, it's close to 10, 10 times less. Also, a castle passage token for the Mystic Outer Realms as well, and the upgrade tokens, the same amount of this. So, the third category of rankings is uh, the rare uh, rarity items, the build items, and from ranks uh, 51 to 100, you're getting 3,450 public order decoration. From rank uh, 101 to 200, we're getting 3.4 thousand public order, and from 201 to 500, also 3.4 thousand public order decoration. Um, so the build items you're getting are the rare rarity. So this is actually a bit lower bonus, the combat strength value for courtyard, melee, and ranged as well. So those are the same, but they are of lower rarity, so lower bonuses. But have in mind that you can upgrade them with the item upgraders. So how to get the item upgraders? You need to disassemble one of these, um, and you can you have a chance to get one of the item boosters depending on uh, what is the rarity of uh, the item uh, disassembling. You can get, for example, a legendary upgrader, and you can apply it for this item. So this item is gonna get the bonuses. Uh, from the legendary version of it and it's gonna convert into legendary so no worries even if you get the uh, green or um, gray one it's still very worth it and very valuable so they basically cost like 80 or 90 thousand per each um, rubies of course 80 90 thousand rubies of each in the bestseller shops so they are very expensive and it's very good to, to just get them in this kingdom league uh, so moving on to the tokens and seeds um, you're getting 500 seeds for ranks from 551 to 100, um, 250 seats for ranks from 101 to 200, and from ranks 201 to 500, we're getting 100 seat. Yeah, so seats, uh, construction tokens, and same for upgrade tokens. And a very small amount of uh, gold pieces, also a castle passage token. And the last category there is the ordinary rarity um, build items, of the appearance build items. Uh, so you're getting it from position 501 to 1000. You're getting 3350 public order decoration, as well as the ordinary items with also a courtyard, uh, melee and range. So they are actually a very good items to get. Even if you get position like 900 to 1000, it's still good. Because for example, you're a player who doesn't spend money on the game and tries to get high 
uh, position without putting any money in the game, it is actually possible to get top 1000. It's not that hard to get it. And you're gonna get items which basically cost um, like 90,000 90, 90, rupees in the bestseller shop. And they are very useful. You can upgrade them to make them very, very powerful. So um, surely try to get this top 1000 position. It's a great opportunity to get good items in the game. Um, a small amount of gold pieces, castle passage token, which is important. So it's still for the top 1000 players ending the kingdom league, the castle passage token. Um, 50 seeds, 50 construction tokens, and 50 upgrade tokens. And as I said previously, a very small amount of gold pieces for the slower ranks, lower than 1001. You're getting very poor rewards compared to the previous Kingdom Links. Okay, so that's everything about the rewards in Kingdom League. So the last change I can mention is a new quest in your quest book. Uh, it's called Finger on the Poles, and it basically tells you to sign up to the Empire newsletter and confirm the email. So for completing this, you can get a small amount of time skips and how to do this, you basically go to your settings, you click on this and you go to account information newsletter. And here you need to have your email put there and you need to click yes for this newsletter and click subscribe. So when you click this, you will have to answer a email on your email box. And when you click the confirmational link, this quest should probably get completed and you're gonna get these smaller rewards. Okay, so that's all from this update. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, you can review this video so you can leave a like if you enjoyed it or a dislike if it wasn't good for you. Of course, this review is very um, informative and important for me. Also, you can comment if you didn't get something or you need to question uh, to get uh, some questions to write some questions to me. Feel free to comment and share your thoughts as well. And see you in the next video. Bye.